Tebow takes a knee, Purdue Pharma takes a bath, and Ron DeSantis can go take himself a leap. That is just a taste of what's going on recently in stuff. Here at Geeks You Drink, we write over 19,000 quiz questions a year, so you think we wouldn't have time to keep up with the news. But guess what, mother We do it anyway. This is Recently in Stuff. Happy Friday and welcome to Recently in Stuff, Geeks Who Drinks weekly news quiz. I'm Aaron, and this week has been full of some really big and really bad news. So for this episode, we thought we'd do something a little bit different, a little softer, and a little more likely to bring in some of that John Krasinski money. Uh, let's call it more gooder newses. Sure. And if we're going to do that, this doesn't feel quite right. So, Derek, what? can you? Oh, right, right, right. Just a little. Uh, oh, yeah. Now? Yeah, that's the stuff. Good. Ah, here we go. This week, what cabinet secretary shared the happy news that he was about to become a parent? That would be Mayor Secretary Father Pete Buttigieg, who announced via Twitter on Tuesday that he and his husband are soon becoming dads. If you would like to send a gift to the little bundle of joy, Pete and Chasen are registered at a certain gift shop in Langley, Virginia. I knew it! Next up, American treasure Dolly Parton has announced that she is writing her first novel with what prolific airport author? That is James Patterson, who plans to help the Nashville legend with her forthcoming novel, Run, Rose, Run. And in related news, I'm getting word that James Patterson has just completed writing Run, Rose, Run and its four sequels. Next up, New Zealanders are rejoicing at the widespread resurgence of what national bird? That is the Kiwi which has shown miraculous recovery in the island nation due to conservation efforts. Here's a fun fact. Kiwis were so rampant during the filming of the Hobbit movies that Peter Jackson was forced to digitally replace them with Orlando Bloom. Oh, just seamless. But in other animal news, last week a team of English researchers discovered that plastic ocean waste is doing what? to hermit crabs. So get this, it's making them horny. Apparently they get all riled up from a chemical called aleamide, which is an additive found in most plastics, which is coincidentally the same reason I have a lifetime ban from Legoland. Since things have been so rough here on the ground, let's take a look up at the sky. What annual meteor shower reached peak prettiness last week? It is the Perseids. And it's just nice to know that no matter how bad things are here on Earth, we can still enjoy the majesty of the universe. Oh, and hey, they're just starting up now. Let's watch. Ah, come back! You didn't hear about Dolly Parton's book? Come on! Well, that's the sound of a gator getting tased in a strip club dressing room, which must mean it's time for the week in Florida. Last week, during a day-long crime spree, a Florida man stole two trucks, a four-wheeler, and what other unconventional conveyance? After stealing and crashing one truck, Marion County's Charles Harrington stole a forklift and drove that until it ran out of gas. He then stole another truck, removed its catalytic converter, ganked a four-wheeler for a joyride on that, and later was arrested after attempting to drink from someone's sprinkler system. He was later charged with being a cliché. Moving to the Midwest. A record number of viewers tuned in to watch the White Sox trounce the Yankees in the first Field of Dreams game, hosted by what actor? (laughs) 
Duh, it's Kevin Costner. The Oscar winner thoughtfuled his way through the corn and onto the outfield before greeting the teams. Let's take a look. I'm sorry. I just thought about having to sit through an entire baseball game. <laughs> Strong feeling, Osner. Moving on. What animation smartasses recently bought Colorado's landmark Casa Bonita restaurant? It is South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone who have, quote, fuck you money after signing an historic $935 million deal with Viacom last week. After dropping a few mil on Casa Bonita, they should have just enough left over for another Colorado landmark, this Aspen Studio apartment. In more entertainment news, Australian actor Sam Reed was cast this week in a new TV series playing what long-running literary vampire. That is Lestat from Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles, which is getting a high-profile adaptation on AMC. The news was greeted enthusiastically by 15-year-old me. And finally this week, what funny lady appeared on Australian TV on Tuesday to talk some unsolicited smack on the 2018 A Star Is Born film? That is Barbara Streisand, who snarked on the remake saying, I don't care so much about success as I do originality. Speaking of which, here's her in the 1976 A Star Is Born. Oh, and here's the 1954 version that came before that. Here's the 1937 version. And the 1932 film that that one lifted its story from. And the actress whose life that film was based on. Ah, originality. And it's almost like by going after somebody, Babs called more attention to herself just now. I wonder if there's a name for that. Well, that is our show for this week, and we sure hope you had fun. But in all seriousness, there are currently a lot of people in terrible conditions for whom things are probably only going to get worse. Um, if you can, we urge you to throw a couple bucks at Women for Women International or the International Refugee Assistance Project. If you want to help with refugees on the ground, the Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Service may have a location in your area. So check out the links below, and we thank you for doing so. We will be back next Friday with more current events trivia, and I will see you then. Hi again, it's Aaron. Just wanted to thank you for watching and say that if you can subscribe, it would help us out a whole bunch. So please do that. You can also check out our other YouTube content in this whole area here. So thank you. Okay, are they gone?